Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Youssef. I'm presenting this an, a case of uh, also a haptic in into the sulcus with the one piece ZCB00 lens, uh, and it should be discovered at the end of surgery. Uh, in this case, what was discovered that the, the lens was a little bit uh, to to one side, and uh, you have to make sure that this haptic is in the in this in the bag, not in the sulcus. Otherwise, it results in uh, pigment dispersion and. Uh, glaucoma and uveitis sometimes. Uh, so this is a routine case. I'm just speeding up the surgery so that uh, I don't bore you. The uh, Just uh, phaco chopping, uh, move the quadrants, the epinucleus removal. Okay, uh, J cannula to clean it for cortical cleanup. And you see it's uh, very efficiently, safely does the job. Take it out and then ProVisc is injected. And uh, I'll slow down the uh, speed here to uh, show the lens implantation and the, the problem. So the uh, this is the ZCP00. I usually fix the eye with the with a Sinsky or a, a cap, um, or the uh, chopper uh, to fix the eye, and at the same time it dis I dislocate the lens from the uh, injector uh, using it. So it's injected well, uh, and then I'll do the IA using the intraocular lens as a shield, protecting the capsule. And uh, you can see here that the lens, the, the haptic wasn't completely open yet. Uh, and when I started the IA, it's actually jumped a little bit forward. And when it uh, relocated again, it probably haptic went into the sulcus at this stage. Uh, so I'm trying to push it to, to centralize it. You can see that it's not in the in the the center exactly. So uh, what I'll do this is the hydration of the wound and. So you can see that it's uh, dis a little dislocated to their, uh, to the temporal side. This is the Avlox to hydrate the wound. And you can see that the edge of the capsule is and the actually the haptic is on top. The, uh, again, I'm trying to reposition. So I discover that this, this haptic is not in the good position. So got it out of the, ha the, uh, uh, the sulcus into the into the back. Now the lens is a nice, nicely positioned. If that not is not discovered at this stage, you end up with uh, pigment dispersion syndrome and glaucoma. So uh, it should the, this, especially the single piece lenses, it has to be in the back. There's no uh, option to put it in the sulcus, and it has to be uh, discovered during the surgery to be corrected. Otherwise, you end up with pigment dispersion, glaucoma, and uh, and uh, uveitis. So. Take your time and make the uh, sure that the intraocular lens is positioned properly at the end of the surgery. Thank you.